There's a lot of people living under the little G gods and living in a little R reality, but that is all about to change today. I want you to start to think about taking back your mind and your perception. And to do that, we have to pour out the poison that has been given to us through their churches, through their media, through their politics, even from our own parents and grandparents, because they, they lived in that little R, and that's just how it is, and they, they had to get you tough, a tough skin, to survive in this world. We were never meant to survive in this world. We came here with a purpose to thrive in this world and to change this world back to the perfect creator's perfect world. And if you don't feel like you fit in, then start thanking God, because you are one of us. My friends, we were never meant to fit in to this mess. We were here to clean up this mess. And my friends, that's exactly what we're going to do. Hello, my wonderful friends. Magus with you on a beautiful day in Asha. And my friends, I will never forget where I was and what I was doing when I realized that death is an illusion, that you need never die. And I'm hoping by the end of this video that you will have that same realization, that you'll remember where you're sitting right now and what you were doing when you had this realization. My friends, before we get to it, by the end of this, I'm actually going to give you exercises you can do to my friends, you're going to have the understanding and the concept and the reasoning, but I'm going to give you actual exercises that you can do with uh, lucid dreaming and different things that you will get this, my friends, because I'll tell you what's happening. We've talked about this on 1221. Another shift is taking place. I want you to think back to 2012. How much has your life and your understanding changed from 2012 to right now? That was a, a huge shift. We're about to make even a bigger shift, my friends. And many of you are, are going to change spiritually like you never dreamed possible before, my friends. Many of you are going to become a magus yourselves. And I'll tell you what I love about being a magus, my friends. You can go through the very depths of hell and have no fear because you know you can transmute anything my friends, I, I want to talk today oh, about so much stuff, guys. Spirit just downloaded me with so much, and I'm so excited. Uh, but I think I want to start with the big R. You'll remember, we've talked about this before, the real above all real. My friends, there's a truth that's above the lion illusion. There's light that when it appears, the darkness disappears. There's a, a reality, my friends, a true reality. The perfect creator's perfect idea. What else could a perfect creator make but a perfect universe, a, a perfect world of goodness and peace and love that expresses who he is? Everything you see that is not that is lying illusion. There's a big R, uppercase R, and there's a lowercase are the highest reality and an illusion, a reality that appears real, my friends. And I'll tell you what, it's all about perception. You're going to understand this, my friends, by the end of this. Please stay with me. I'm telling you, by the end of this, I'm, I'm going to give you actual exercises that you can do starting today. And, and your, your fear of death is going to disappear. You're going to realize what all the masters realize. And my friends, on 1221, many of you are going to become masters, my friends. A huge shift is coming. It's all about perception. And that's why the dark system is after your mind, after your perception. What you perceive is real. You're going to create real the lowercase real, R, into your world. It's going to become your reality. That's why they control the politics, right? You, you think that's just how it is. They tell you you can't get away from death and taxes. That's your reality. They, they, they tell you uh, every four years you're going to vote Democrat or Republican, and you get the same thing. And then we'll change it in the next four years, right? It's gone on for hundreds of years, my friends. And that's become 
a reality, lowercase r, reality, my friends. They're churches. I've seen so many Christians and Muslims and Hindus and, and all the different matrix world religions and, and they're so depressed because they, they have a little book that has already told them what the future looks like and it's so bleak, my friends. They just got to somehow get through this life and, and it's not good for them or the rest of the world and, and that's their reality, my friends. They're the little are but there's so much more because a perfect creator created a perfect you and a perfect world and many are going to wake up to that coming this december my friends and we're going to change this world back to the big r the real above all real the light is going to come and the darkness is going to flee my friends so beautiful uh, I, I want you to start to think about taking back your mind and your perception and to do that, we have to pour out the poison that has been given to us through their churches, through their media, through their politics, even from our own parents and grandparents, because they, they lived in that little R, and that's just how it is, and they, they had to get you tough, a tough skin to survive in this world. We were never meant to survive in this world. We came here with a purpose to thrive in this world and to change this world back to the perfect creator's perfect world and if you don't feel like you fit in then start thanking God because you are one of us my friends we were never meant to fit in to this mess we were here to clean up this mess and my friends that's exactly what we're gonna do my friends before I get to the exercises I want to share with something that hit me so beautiful I always thought about what the Christ said. He said, when two or more are gathered in my name, I am there with you. And so when I'm being brought up in the Christian church, that meant that when a bunch of us got together in a room, a group of Christians, and, and we prayed together, then Jesus would come join us, my friends. But I, I, Spirit was showing me that's not at all what the Christ was talking about. When two or more are gathered... My friends, it's it's alchemy. It, it, it's the Christ mind. It's vohumenu. It's what all the masters taught that when you and God, the two, gather into one, then God is with you and all of his names, my friends. Divine life. And where life is, death is not to be found. Divine light. And there is no darkness in this beautiful white like divine health where sickness and disease dies when it comes into this atmosphere. My friends, love where hate, greed, and fear cannot live. The big R, my friends, the perfect creators, perfect idea. And I started thinking about it where two are more. And you start to think about our soul family, my friends. And it goes even deeper than that. We're going to do a whole other study on that. But you're going to start to get it when we talk about lucid dreaming here two things i want you guys to start doing to get ready for 1221 lucid dreaming my friends this is going to help to start to change your perception this blew me away do you realize when i lucid dream my friends the world that i am in is more real then this world right now, as I'm looking around at everything, it doesn't have the crisp detail, my friends. It doesn't have the feel and the smells and the sounds that I get when I'm in that lucid dreaming state, my friends. And when you start to lucid dream, you start to realize that the outside projections are coming from inside of you. And I'll tell you when I really grasp this. Uh, I, I was being chased. I had a problem since I was a kid of being chased in my dreams. And, and I made an intention before I went to bed. And I started practicing every night before I went to bed thinking, uh, if I'm getting chased, I'm going to realize this is just a dream. And, and I'm going to awaken myself in the dream. And I'm going to take control of it. And, and I started thinking of uh, different weapons I could make appear. I started thinking I could just fly if I needed to. I started to think I could just stop, turn around, and stop them by the very will 
of my own heart and mind. And, and my friends, it began to happen for me. And I'll never forget one time I was being chased. I turned around and I said, stop. And I looked at the person chasing me and I said, do you realize I created you and I'm looking at you and you're as real as can be. And we're interacting and I'm looking, I can see the color in your eyes. I can see the design in your eyes. I can see your hair and texture. I'm looking at the very clothes you have on and the shoes you have on. And I said, I created those. I created the color of your eyes, the color of your hair, the very clothes that you have on. I'm looking at those shoes and I actually like them and I'm thinking I created that in my mind, my friends. And I was no longer being chased. I walked into the woods and I rubbed my hands on the trees and I could feel the texture of the bark and as I looked in deeper I could see the fine grain uh, uh, of the wood my friends and I took a breath and I could smell pine and there was a light mist rain and I felt it hitting my face and I was awake in my dreams my friends uh, another realization I had and as you do this my friends things that I can't even give to you in words my friends you're going to experience because it, this is much more than me just teaching you something or learning from a book or a teacher or a preacher you learn this from experience uh, another thing I remember looking up at the night sky, my friends, and I'm looking for God and I'm wondering what's behind those stars. And I had that realization that you can only understand by experiencing it. That the God that I'm thinking about outside of that, that veil of stars was behind my eyes. My friends, as you start to wake up to these realizations, we've been fed the wrong perceptions of who we are, of who God is. Think about this for one minute. You are told that God, the highest principle of good, can hate, can war, can kill, can get jealous, can go in and tell people to kill men, women, and children. My friends, wake up. That is not who God is. You've been lied to about who you are and what you're capable of. You've been lied to about what this world is and your role in it. And it's kept you bound, my friends. But it's time to wake up to who God is. He's all good and he's love and he's powerful and he's free. And we're just like our daddy. My friends, this world is beautiful. The big R, the real above all real. Not the little R, the reality that's been pulled over our eyes by their lies, my friends. It's time to wake up. And what I want you to do tonight, I want you to fall asleep while being conscious. How do you do that, Magus? Because I'll tell you what, with the, the times that I have that intimate time and I, and I get those deep revelations and, and I see God face to face, it's always that place between awake and asleep, my friends. And, and so don't waste that time. Uh, find a comfort. I, I use my chair and it's very comfortable and cushioned. And, and I sit with my spine erect and I just meditate. And, and then as I feel myself starting to fall asleep and get tired, I stay alert, my friends. My body's falling asleep. My brain is falling asleep. But my spirit is alert, my friends. And that's where the magic happens. And then you set intentions. I'm going to hear from spirit in this place. I'm going to set an intention that I'm going to be able to take control in my dreams and be awake and conscious during my dreams. I'm not going to be a victim in my dreams. I'm going to take control of my dreams. And then you're going to take that knowledge and take control of this, what we call awake state. My friends, and you're going to realize something I realized. There is no death. My friends, when you reach that place of samadhi, it's complete union with God. Your body is asleep, your brain is asleep, but you're awake in perfect bliss, my friends. Doesn't mean you won't leave this dimension. My God, you're going to want to leave this dimension. I've been here 50 years and I've pretty much done everything there is to do. Still enjoy it, still have fun surfing and playing with the kids and going out chasing waterfalls. But, but I don't think you'd want to stay in this dimension for eternity, 
My friends, there, there's higher dimensions. We're going to want to go back to where we came from. Perfect bliss. One with the all-loving Father in our soul family. But you don't have to get sick and die to transform, my friends. And that's what I told you. You're going to start to realize if you'll start doing the work right now, 1221, a shift is going to take place and many are going to become maguses where, where this life now becomes a great adventure. You're not pushed around by what's going on in the little R because you're here in strength and power with the big R, the real above all real, the true reality, truth and, and light. And like I said, Omegas can walk through the pits of hell and have no fear because we can transmute any situation with our light and our truth and our power, my friends. Amazing things coming. I want every one of you right now to hit the like button and to share this message with someone today. Every one of you share this with one person today and that, and then you're on your way to becoming a Magus because you know what? A Magus ain't here just to grab all he can for himself and you could but a true Magus wouldn't want to. My friends you want to spread this light with the world. We want to change this world. That's why we came here to time and space, my friends. So proud of each and every one of you. Love you with all my heart, and we'll see you next time.